Hey, what's up everybody? It's Don and today, well, today we are adding another VR headset to the channel. That's right. So today we're going to be taking our first look at the HTC Vive Cosmos Elite. And, and man, I can't thank Melissa over at HTC enough for sending this my way. I, I thank you. Th this is awesome. So what is the Elite? Well, you, you know, they just recently released the Cosmos. I, you may remember the review I did about six or seven months ago and well, I'm not gonna lie the headset itself wasn't horrible the comfort was great the, the the visuals looked really nice and crisp and clear because of the enhanced resolution screens but where it really fell flat was HTC's inside out tracking solution well, one of the huge pros of that headset when it launched was the fact that it was to have modular face plates and the Elite is the first iteration of that promise. So the Elite is the Cosmos, guys. It is the same headset, no difference whatsoever except for the fact that the new Steam VR tracking faceplate comes pre-installed. So that means we're back to base stations. And, and I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't hate on that idea. Inside out tracking has its merits, don't get me wrong, but you just can't beat the precision that you get from lighthouse tracking. So the Elite comes with two lighthouse trackers and unfortunately still two old school Vive wands. I don't know what HTC's thinking there. Come on, index controllers, make a new controller, or whatever those things you know my thoughts on the vibe ones i'm not even going to go there so anyway all right guys let's get into the box let's check it all out let's get it set up and then let's test it in some gameplay Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside the box. So, all right, uh, first and foremost, the packaging looks beautiful. You've got your nice fade away there on the front. Uh, everywhere, every surface has the Vive Cosmos Elite logo. Uh, you, ha you have your full product shot there with your Vive Port Infinity subscription plug, which if you haven't checked it out, there is a video in my catalog. Go look for it. Vive Port Infinity, awesome service it is like the netflix of vr so we're not here to talk about vive port infinity though we are here to check out the cosmos elite so let's do that all right let's get the sleeve off there now there is actually a zip tab on here and and you know i don't know why you would want to like zip it off and 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 ruin that beautiful sleeve so all right there we go, and boom. All right, so just like your other Vives, you got your blue and white cardboard, you know, setup instructions here. Download the Vive software, I've already done that. I've already done, you know, pretty much all of this because I already have a Cosmos. So um, in here, um, from us to you. So it looks like we got a little card here. Yeah, let's get that out. And it is Vive QC passed. Vive quality inspection completed. So, all right, it has been inspected. So, there is that. And here we have the contents of the box. So everything is labeled in step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. So, you know, a lot of this, if you've been in the VR community, if you've had a Vive, a Vive Pro, a Vive Pro I, you're familiar with it. These are the 1.0 base stations. I've already actually got two 1.0 base stations set up. So these will actually stay very nice and pristine in the box just waiting for those to be needed so all right that would be of step two we would have had the base stations here but like I said I'm gonna leave those in the box so step three um, oops it looks like that is gonna ah, um, is All right, so this is a little different here. 
looks like it's a breakout cable. So instead of the, uh, the box on the original Cosmos and on the Vive where you had the breakout box, this looks like it's just a standard breakout cable with the uh, proprietary connector for the Cosmos and your uh, display port and your USB 3.0. So very cool there. You don't have to actually have that box um, in any longer. And then underneath is just the power supplies uh, for everything and the mounting hardware to put the base stations in the ceiling. So, all right, moving on to step four. Step four being the headset, we have the strap here. Um, it, it is a nice strap. Um, uh, very rigid, no stretchability to it whatsoever. Um, uh, good wide Velcro there. It's got some sort of a plastic cable hook here. Sure, we'll find out about that here in a minute. And here is the headset. So there we go. All right. So very, very much like uh, the uh, Vive Cosmos uh, that I've already unboxed and reviewed here on the channel. Um, this one is a different color. Um, it, it is black, so that is cool. We, we've gone away from the Vive Pro Blue back to the original Vive Black. The, you know, I, I, I don't know, it, maybe call me old school. I just kind of prefer it when my headset is the color black. So it, it just looks classier to me. And you know, right here, it, it just kind of, you know, takes on the look of the standard Vive product line. I mean, you've got your, your dimples here for the tracking. Um, everything mates nice and seamlessly for this plate being something that's removable. Uh, the headset is identical. It has the same speakers that you're going to find on the deluxe audio strap for the Vive. Uh, a nice wide top strap, which actually now makes me wonder what that other strap was for. Um, and uh, the uh, standard Vive foam that I will be instantly replaced with a VR cover that I've already pulled for it. So, all right, that is the headset. Um, so nothing else in there. There's the little lens thing. Don't get it wet. Don't get it sunlight. Never, never, never feed it after midnight, don't get it wet. If you're old, you get that reference. Um, the uh, setup guide, got a couple of stickers in here. Um, like I said, I've already got it set up on my system because I've already got the Cosmos and the Vive. All right, so uh, step five here, or box five, is I'm assuming the controllers and, yep. And uh, you know, this, this is, this is, I think so far, and I haven't even used the thing, but th this is so far my only complaint. <sighs> Come on, HTC. Everybody is iterating. Everybody is, is giving us better controllers. I mean, Oculus made the touch controllers lighter, even though I do still kind of prefer the original touch. It, it, we, we've got, I just recently got my first set of index controllers last week uh, in preparation for Half-Life Alex, and it, those things are amazing. These, they, they're just, they, they already feel dated the, the minute I take them out of the box. So I, I, that's all I've got to say about that. Um, all right, um, the rest of it is just set up you guys know all that. Let's just skip all that. Let's get straight to the good stuff. Let's go for some gameplay. All right, here we are. We are in the Vive Cosmos Elite. And uh, man, I gotta tell you, so far, so good. The, 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 the headset looks great, just like its little brother, the Vive Cosmos. I mean, obviously, same headset, same 2880 by 1700 LCD panels. So, you know, it, it definitely has the look of an LCD headset. I mean, you know, the, the blacks are a twinge gray. The colors are a tad bit washed out. Uh, but overall, it looks good and clear. I mean, you can definitely see the resolution bump 
um, of those screens. And, uh, you know, I got to say, th this, this is where I come, guys. Th this is literally where I stand right here at the edge of this balcony here in Gotham. This is my just standard workshop background for my Steam VR home. And th this is kind of like when I want to test a headset against each other, I'll just come stand right here in this one spot because it's very familiar to me and look out and gaze and you know i gotta say it it doesn't look bad in the cosmos and obviously oh man it is tracking so good now with the new elite faceplate so back to the outside in tracking we go and and i cannot be more thankful for that because Man, bless their hearts, HTC tried really hard. I mean, and, and I know they're still working on it with the Cosmos because obviously if I just pop this faceplate off and put the, uh, you know, the Cosmos faceplate on there, I'd be back to the inside out tracking. And But they just never really got it to work up to the standards of some other manufacturers. And, you know, it's a shame because overall this headset is pretty sweet. So let's see here. We've talked about the screens. You know, that's that's usually the first thing people want to know about. I mean, I'm not getting any smudging, any smearing. Uh, the tracking is good. Um, uh, the weight, the comfort. I mean, it's the Halo style um, head strap, which, you know, for me... I can take it or leave it. I kind of prefer the original and I'll tell you why. And, and I even noticed it in this headset right now, the, the sweet spot at first, when you put this thing on, it, it's going to seem like it's incredibly small. What I want you to do, take your hands and just gently push it against your face just a little bit. And Oh, wow. The difference is like night and freaking day. And this is the same thing that I experienced with my Samsung Odyssey Plus. It, 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 it's like they, 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 they want you to wear this up here where it's not comfortable, up here on the top of the crown of your head where you really naturally want to pull that thing down. And it kind of causes the front of the headset to flip up. Now, this headset does not have the ability to slide forward and backwards like the Oculus Rift S, so we're going to have to resort to some just cheap fabric store fixes. And all you got to do, just get you a little Velcro strap here, a little Velcro strap here, go right behind the headphones, and it just allows you to gently pull it a little tighter. So do that. You're going to notice a huge increase in the field of view. You're going to notice a massive increase in the sweet spot and boom, everything is going to look good and non-distorted in the peripheral. So, you know, on the weight and the comfort, that's, that's the only thing. I, it, I find it very comfortable, but I don't find that it positions correctly for my head and my face shape. So it's just going to take a, you know, just a quick little modification. And, and these days I, I don't knock headset manufacturers for that at all. So, all right, we've talked about screens, we've talked about the tracking, we've talked about the weight and comfort and the need for that small mod. Cord, cord length is good. Um, you know, uh, cord length is adequate for room scale, works really good with my overhead pulley system. Definitely one of the longer cords of the headsets that I own currently. Um, very lightweight, not bothersome at all. Once again, if you have the original Cosmos, you know what the cord is like. So um, now last thing is, is the, and I did not even take them out of the box, guys, this is the controllers. Um, I, I just got my index controllers. I'm loving my index controllers and uh, I have no desire whatsoever in hell ever for any reason at all to pick up those Vive Wands. And you guys know it, HTC, if you're watching, I'm sorry, I don't mean to hurt your feelings if you love your controllers and all, but I personally find them to be <laughs> the shittiest controllers on the planet. And now with my Pimax, with, with, with my beautiful new Cosmos Elite here, with my Vive, you know, any, any of my headsets that use the Steam VR tracking, I no longer have to use those. Thank God. Index controllers it is. Yeah. So, 
All right. That's it about the headset. The headset is great. Now, you know, one thing, one other thing I wanted to do, we are three days away, guys. We are three days away from the launch of the biggest VR title that has ever been since VR's second coming. So I have been holding off on this. I, I you know, I, I really wanted to see it on launch, but I got a new headset here and I, and I can't wait. I, I really just want to jump in. So we are going to jump in and take a quick look at uh, the environments here from Half-Life Alex in the new Vive Cosmos to kind of kind of break it in properly here on the channel. So let's go. <laughs> Whoa. Oh man. Oh wow. Okay. The the oh okay. Whoa. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh give me a minute. Give me a minute. You, you guys don't understand. You, 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 yeah, well I mean some of you might. I, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you've heard me babble about being grandpa VR here. Okay. When I got into VR in the late 90s, the thing that got me hooked was the, the, the very first week that I had my eyeglasses VR system. I cobbled it all together with an infrared head tracker and uh, an Aura Interactor base vest. And, 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 I, and I hooked it up to where I could play the original Half-Life in what we called virtual reality back then. And... So, in essence, this franchise is tied to my love of VR and, and kind of has changed my life. And, and to be able to see it like this, wow. So, all right. I'm sorry, guys. I, I just needed a minute. So, okay. Uh, you know, the, the Source 2.0 engine definitely is legit. Uh, th this is clean. I mean, this just looks flawless i mean every little texture every little detail just looks amazing and, and it looks really good in the in the cosmos elite here i you know i i tell you what um it, the headset you can definitely tell that the resolution is crisper than than pretty much all of the other headsets that I've tried in this class. Now, obviously, for those of you who watch my channel, you guys know I already am the proud owner of one Primax 8KX prototype. And I'm sorry, there's nothing that can compete with that right now. I mean, 4K per eye, 170 degree field of view. I can't wait to see this game in that one. But I'll tell you what, out of the whole Vive Pro, Oculus Rift S, you know, Vive, all that class of headset, yeah, this is pretty decent. I'm, I, is it worth the, the cost of entry, though? Well, you, you actually get this game with it. You, you get Alex with it, so that's a $60 value right there, uh, you know? The, the only things that I can find so far to knock this headset on now that it has true Steam VR tracking it would be just needing a slight modification to pull it closer to my face because it just doesn't fit my face very well. And the fact that it comes with the 1.0 base stations and the uh, the 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 Steam VR original controllers, uh, the the original Va Vive controllers. So, other than that, the headset is pretty freaking decent. Never thought I'd actually say that about a Vive. No, did I say that out loud? Oops, I did. Hey, you guys, it's no stranger. I, since the beginning, I, I've always shifted more towards Oculus. Um, but, man, I'll tell you what. This is not bad. Uh, this is not bad at all. Um, the audio, let me tell you a little bit about the audio as well. Uh, this is, you know, I, I, I gotta say it's probably the same exact um, setup as the deluxe audio strap, but to me, for some reason, it sounds a little crisper. And I know I don't have anything in this other than just some background noises and birds chirping, but everything sounds really, really clean. So... Um, I, I think HTC's done it. I, I, I think that they have put out a, a viably decent headset. 
just need that one little mod. Just gotta get it closer to my freaking face. And then, whoa, everything is so big. The sweet spot is huge. Uh, everything is clear to the edge and the edge is wide. It's almost like my Pimax on small FOV, which is even larger than the index. I mean, yeah, if I push that just like that, that is definitely larger than the index, um, just like the Pimax on small. So I, you know, right there, guys, I think I'm loving this headset. I think I'm starting to. I think this might be, I think this might be a second choicer for me. All right, let's go ahead and check out the other Half-Life environment. Oh, nice. Oh my God. The detail level on this stuff is insane you can see the little pulled threads ah wow uh, and now if i could just play with everything oh wow i mean even like on the cushion where my fat butt would be sitting i mean it, it's so worn out that is insanely detailed now obviously we are in a steam vr home environment so i cannot uh, unfortunately use smooth locomotion to explore this but man the glass looks great oh i cannot wait three more days guys and gals three more days until we get us a shiny brand new Half-Life game for the first time in many, 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 many long years. And you know, it, it ain't Half-Life 3 and it ain't even Half-Life Episode 3. So I still want to know what hell happens there with Eli Vance and Gordon and they're getting sucked up. And I, yeah, so I hope that they at least allude something to that or if there are plans still in the works to, to bring us a true Half-Life 3 and, and close out that storyline. But... You know, we're going to take what we can get, and, and in three days, we're going to get it, and I can't wait. So, all right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it here. I, I don't really see anything else that we can talk about the Cosmos. You know, I'll, I'll give my uh, quick recap here. I, I really got to say, I like this headset. It, it, it has a nice, crisp look to the graphics. Um, it, it is pretty freaking sweet. So thanks HTC for sending it. Guys, I am gonna put links to buy one of these if you are interested or read more on HTC's site down in the description. But for me, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off. Peace. Oh, it wouldn't do the Vulcan hand.